problem is to take a function like f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 4 times e to the x over 2 and find its first and second derivative in order to determine first of all the intervals on which the function is decreasing and second the intervals on which the function is concave down. So for decreasing you want to find the sine chart of the first derivative f prime and for concave down you want to find the sine chart of the second derivative f prime prime. Let's start out by finding the derivative f prime of x. Now, now we can see it's a product. We've got this polynomial and this exponential function multiplied together. So we're going to use the product rule, which remember I'm reminding you down here, the product rule is the derivative of u times v is du dx times v plus u times dv dx. So I'm going to write that out first. du dx, the derivative of the polynomial, times v, the exponential, plus u, the polynomial, times the derivative of v, and that's one-half times e to the x over 2 from the chain rule factor. Now, next thing I'll do is combine like terms, because we have this common factor of e to the x over 2, so I've got a linear term and a constant term to combine with the linear term and the constant term on the other side. And, and the easiest way to deal with this factor of a half is to rewrite this first form as one-half times 4x minus 6 instead of 2x minus 3. That way, I see I, I just have to combine a 4x with a negative 3x to get x, and a negative 6 with a 4 to get negative 2. And the uh, simplified form becomes one-half of x squared plus x minus 2 times e to the x over 2. This polynomial is factorable, which is what makes the sign chart easy to make. And how do you factor x squared plus x minus 2? Well, it's going to be x with a 2 and x with a 1. We just have to figure out where the plus and minus go. So if you notice the middle term is positive 1x, then you realize that it has to be x plus 2 times x minus 1. Now I have the factored form 4f prime. Uh, let me go ahead and differentiate it again and get the factored form for f prime prime. So I'm going to go through the same process because once again I have a function that's of the form polynomial times exponentials. I'll use the product rule f prime prime of x equals the derivative of the first factor 2x plus 1 times the second factor plus the first factor times the derivative of the second factor which that and that derivative of the second factor gives you that chain rule factor of a half. Once again, I'll rewrite my 2x plus 1 as a half times 4x plus 2 so that it's easier to combine the terms. Then I notice something very nice happens. The positive 2 over here and the negative 2 over here cancel and I end up with a simplified form that has no constant term. And when you have no constant term it's easy to factor by just taking out the GCF of x and it comes out to one-fourth of x times x plus 5 times e to the x plus 2. Now that we have the factored form for f prime of x and the factored form for f prime prime of x, we can use those to find where the first derivative and where the second derivative uh, respectively are positive and negative. So I'll make a sign chart and and the sign chart is going to have the values negative 5, negative 2, 0, and 1 as the relevant x values. Negative 5 from this factor in f prime prime, negative 2 from this factor in f prime, and so on. So uh, the sign chart for f prime is going to be positive up to negative 2, negative up to 1, and then positive afterwards because the only two factors of f prime that change sign are x plus 2 and x minus 1. And similarly, the sign chart for f prime prime is going to be positive up to negative 5, then negative until 0, and then positive after that. And from these sign charts, you can determine that the stationary points of this function are at x equals negative 2 and x equals 1, that's where f prime is 0, and that the interval on which the function is decreasing is the interval from negative 2 to 1. And you can determine that the inflection points of this function, that those are the places where the second derivative changes signs, are at negative 5 and 0. 
and that the interval on which the function is concave down would be the interval from negative 5 to 0. That's what you'd have to do on my quiz. Those are the answers to the quiz questions. But just to go one step further, you can use these sign charts to figure out a pretty nice graph of the function. If you draw a, a set of coordinate axes, the original function is x squared minus 3x plus 4 e to the x over 2. And you start out by taking something that's increasing and concave up from negative infinity up to negative 5. So I'll draw it like this. And then between negative 5 and negative 2, we're increasing and concave down because this is negative 5 is our first inflection point. So I draw something increasing and concave down. And negative 2, I have a stationary point. And then it becomes decreasing and concave down. And then at 0, we have another inflection point, and it becomes decreasing and concave up. And then after the last stationary point at positive 1, it becomes increasing and concave up and continues forever. This is a qualitative picture, but uh, try graphing this on your calculator and see if you could find the window parameters x min and x max and y min and y max that show you that these are the features of this graph.